It was 20 years ago that he said in 10 years he would be able to solve the the homeless problem in California. Well, he said San Francisco. And now, becoming governor, he's expanded that plan. And you can see how that uh, attack on homelessness has just gotten so much better in California. Here to tell us uh, all about it and the the great success the governor of California is having is uh, Jessica Milan Patterson. She's the chairwoman of the California Republican uh, Party. Uh, Jessica, thanks for joining us on Fox Across America. Thanks for having me, Congressman. It's good to be with you. Oh, please call me Jason. I really would appreciate it. Um, but Jessica, uh, Gavin Newsom, he's the, the gift that keeps on giving. I mean, this, you, you, uh, you got to live with it. I used to live in California, but I don't anymore. But boy, he has single-handedly done more to destroy California than just about anybody. He really has. And the sad part about it is when he made this promise 20 years ago to the people of San Francisco that he was going to get this done in 10 years, you know, long after he would be finished being mayor there anyway. Um, no one just thought that he was going to be taking this problem statewide. And that's exactly what he did. And now 20 years later and $20 billion that California taxpayers have spent on trying to give Democrats the tools to fix the problem of homelessness. Not only have they not made anything better, they have made it so much worse. We just got these numbers out from the HUD from HUD just last week, and our homeless rate went up 5.8% here in California, almost 6%. And when we talk about all of the homeless people across the country, 30% of them are in California. When we talk about the unsheltered, 50% are in California. We spent $20 billion on the problem. Gavin Newsom and California Democrats have failed every single turn. Well, it's the principal approach that they take to it that is just fundamentally wrong. I mean, I was, it was just unbelievable to me that uh, when the world leaders came to San Francisco, when you had Xi Jinping, the, the, you know, the, the Chinese leader coming, when President Biden was trying, man, they cleaned those streets, they spit shined that, they made it so nice and pristine, looking great. But boy, as soon as the world leaders are gone, the poor people who actually are citizens, the, the people who pay the taxes and live there, boy, they just filled right back up right where they were before. It's such a testament to the fact that it can be done. It can be done because you did it when you wanted to do it. Why wouldn't right. you want to do that for the citizens of California? You know, we have nearly two-thirds in this last PPIC poll that came out that said that homelessness is a big problem in their local community. That's two-thirds of Californians that are saying this. You know, more than half of the people in this poll said that they saw someone experiencing homelessness on a daily basis. And when we have individuals that are leading, you know, we had Mayor Kevin Faulkner down in San Diego where he was very adamant. We are not going to allow people to die on our streets. We are not going to have tent cities. And he took a compassionate but effective way of approaching homelessness. And while homelessness was going up all across our state, that was a region where homelessness actually went down. The leadership is there, but we got to vote a little different here in California if we want to get different. Yeah, um, more than just a little bit. But I think the people of California and across the country, the, the, you know, good good Americans, even though they may be in one per particular party or another party, but you know what? I think there's a sense of fairness, and um, they know when something's working or when it's not working. And when they see money extracted from their wallets only to go over here to exacerbate the problem and not actually solve the problem, then I think they, they get it. I uh, we're talking to Jessica Milan Patterson. She's the chairwoman of the California Republican Party. I want to ask you about what happened in Colorado, uh, trying to take Trump off the ballot, because oh, I don't know that there's any expectation that Donald Trump could win California or would win California. I'd like if he's the Republican nominee to, to see how that would go. But the idea that you're not going to allow your political opponents to even be on the ballot is so offensive. I want you to listen here to Jonathan Turley, one of the more notable attorneys. He was on Laura Ingram, and uh, let's play cut two and then get your reaction to it. 
The best way to be a defender of democracy is to actually practice democracy, to actually support it, to say that citizens need to go to the polls and to argue that they shouldn't vote for Donald Trump or should not vote for Joe Biden. That's democracy in action. But instead, you have four justices of the Colorado Supreme Court that want to prevent millions of people from voting for what is currently the leading candidate for the presidency. But you also have people like the New York Times editor that recently recently said that anyone who questions this ruling is standing with Confederates. So you're not standing with the Constitution, you're standing with the Confederacy. And it's that type of overheated rhetoric that we all have to be unified in condemning. Mm. Jessica, what's your take on this? Well, I've actually been using a line that you used the other day. You cannot shout democracy, democracy, democracy on one side and then take your political opponents off the ballot. That is not the way democracy is active. And so what we're seeing here in California, it's a same play, different day. I actually went to court over the legislature taking President Trump off the ballot in our 2020 election cycle. And um, what we saw there in Patterson v. v. Padilla, is that the state legislature wasn't even taking into account, like, not just our U.S. Constitution, but our state Constitution. And what they're trying to do is make it so that here in California, we have an open primary for our down ticket ballot. And when you don't have the top of your ticket on that ballot and people are not turning out for that, you could end up with multiple races where it's Democrat on Democrat. They're playing the long game with a lot of these things, and they're very strategic. But what they're also doing is completely denying democracy to the citizens of Colorado, or in our case, it was California. Yeah. No, it's scary what they're trying to do. Jessica Milan Patterson, chairwoman of the California Republican Party. Thanks for joining us on Fox Across America, and uh, Merry Christmas. Hope you have a wonderful Merry one. Christmas to you. Thanks. Thank you. Now, please stay with us. We got a lot more that's coming up.